Idaho's first news, top stories, and your weather authority forecast. This is Rise and Shine. We are back, folks. 624, you're watching Rise and Shine on this Wednesday. You know this guy. Everybody knows you by now. Brian Higgins, <laughs> senior instructor at Success Martial Arts. Good to see you, sir. Morning. Glad to see you're in one piece. You got a little foot injury going on this morning. Yeah, I bumped my toe. Yeah, Life goes on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll watch it heal here over the next couple of days, and it'll be all good. All right, we were just talking about Easter candy, okay? And uh, as, as we were actually just talking about during the commercials, um, obesity is a problem, and you guys are going to do something that will help uh, alleviate obesity and take some of the Easter candy maybe that's, uh, or excess Easter candy off of kids and parents' hands out there right now, right? Yep, that's the plan. My understanding is statistically, mm -hmm. um, childhood diabetes is growing mm -hmm. along with childhood obesity, along with adult obesity. Yeah. And I think anyone who pays any attention to that very quickly realizes that's a nutritional question. Yeah. It's a question of what we're putting into our bodies. You can't exercise fast enough to outrun your mouth. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and that I was having a conversation with some of our moms in the school. Uh -huh. And we had discussed, well, we just did the Halloween candy trade-in. And that was pretty successful. We had about 50 pounds of candy that came in. We were able to, to repurpose. And they said, well, what about Easter? I said, well, what about Easter? And they said, our kids get almost as much candy for Easter as they do for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And so it really isn't good for the kids. Right. Um, Mom and dad are happy to have it out of the house because if it's there, it's easy to eat it. Oh, yeah. Um, even though we don't really want to, it's, it's tempting. I agree. Right. And so it, it, bring it into the martial arts school. We're going to give the kids a little uh, three-week martial arts course for free. They awesome. can come participate to kind of incentivize the kids to let go of that candy so we're not just taking it from them. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ship it overseas to some of our troops who are deployed overseas. Which That's leads awesome. to the next question, which I thought was brilliant, because again, one of our mommies kind of gave me a nudge. Yeah. She goes, why do our troops deployed overseas need mm, candy? candy. <laughs> and, and, and so here's what we found is that for a, a great number of our, our troops, they're not wandering around in the forest. Right. They're in cities. Right. They're, they're, they're up and down the streets. They're in neighborhoods. And some of these guys will carry around a pocket full of candy, and they'll make friends with kids in the neighborhood. Okay. And right. then the kid comes up and says, hey, there's a bomb in that truck around the corner. You guys might want to be careful. Well, why? Because he wants his candy. All right. Is that not better yeah. than, than stuffing it into you or me or the kids? Right. right. Okay. All right. You know what? I would have never thought. It's kind of a peace offering, I guess, you could use over there. Shh. Just, you know. It's so much better. It, okay. I, if there's a good use for candy, that seems to me to be it. That's, that's probably the best <laughs> use of candy yeah. I've ever heard in my life. So. Yeah. All right, let's get behind this thing. Now, you guys started accepting candy back on Monday. How right. long are you going to be doing this for? Probably through the rest of this week and into next week. It, it's not etched in stone. It's the first year we've done it. Okay. And so, you know, if it takes people a day or two to, to realize what's going on, tell a friend, you know, please do. Okay, and then people can just come right to Success Martial Arts with that candy at 1300 Kimberly Road right there in Twin Falls. And they get a free week's free martial arts um, Cla I, class, I guess, yeah. or, or, yeah. or you it, can go through the program. It, it winds up being about six classes. Oh, yeah. fantastic. All right, sounds good. Getting a lot of bang for your buck there, and we appreciate that. Plus, also with the taking the candy away from the kids, uh, or, not, or not taking it, but kind of offering an alternative, it gets the candy out of their hands, and it's not, so, it's not just um, health-related. It's also mentally going to help them out, too, because sugar doesn't do good stuff for your brain, as uh, some people have already known. So Yeah, I've heard those stories. Yeah, so <laughs> we appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming on in. Good luck with all this, and thanks for all you do again for the kids out there, keeping them safe and healthy and happy. Well, thank you. Come back soon. All right, Brian Higgins, folks, 627. We'll be back. A little more uh, news, weather, and fun coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere.